June 2023 slowly comes to an end. So in this video, we'll look at the most interesting and cool stuff that happened in the AI world in the past month. Starting with the Voyager. Whether you played Minecraft or not, you might be fascinated about this project. It's called Voyager, an open-ended embodied agent with large language models. This is the first LLM-powered embodied lifelong learning agent in Minecraft. Voyager consists of three key components – an automatic curriculum for open-ended exploration, a skill library for increasingly complex behaviors, and a prompting mechanism that uses code as action space. The study evaluated Voyager and other systems on their exploration abilities, mastery of the tech tree, map coverage, and generalization to new tasks. Voyager outperformed other studies. Funny fact that they actually used both GPT-3.5 and GPT-4. In some cases, they needed advanced capabilities of GPT-4, but for the rest, they relied on GPT-3.5 because it is just cheaper and the team actually open-sourced their work, which is amazing. Next on my list is break a scene extracting multiple concepts from a single image. Adapting an existing image to a different scenario can be tricky. That's why a team of researchers introduced a method of textual scene decomposition. In other words, to break a scene by tokens and then to use those parts to create a different scene. Their paper describes a step-by-step -step method and results. And given a single picture, this approach can create different versions of this image by changing the objects and the background. For example, if there is a picture of a dog wearing a shirt, this method can separate the dog and the shirt so you can generate images of just the dog or a cat wearing that shirt. You can also extract background from a picture and add new objects to it and even edit specific parts of other images using concepts extracted from a different picture. And to continue with the images stability, AI ClipTrop launched Uncrop, the ultimate aspect ratio editor that allows to change the ratio of any image by creating an expanded background to complement any existing photo or image. You can even try it out without logging in, which is pretty nice. On a similar note, Midjourney, who actually released version 5.2 just recently with a bunch of cool updates, also have a similar feature called Zoom Out. Hugging Face has now a nice interface to create artistic QR codes. You provide a URL and a prompt and it will draw something beautiful for you. You can also upload your own image. My observation is that not all of those QR codes can be later recognized by the phone, uh, probably due to the artwork, or maybe just my old phone is funny about it. If your goal is not changing an image, but rather making a complete animation movie using your iPhone, then the library real-time AI image generation can make it possible. It uses Red Dream from Fictiverse, you can grab a video with an iPhone and AI will generate anime images in almost real time. On the other hand, if you need a tool that understands different types of inputs, including a video or an image of a dog wearing a t-shirt, then Panda GPT is designed to do exactly that. 
It can listen, watch and understand video, audio, image and text. It can describe what it hears or sees, write stories based on that and answer questions. It can also handle multiple types of input at the same time and understand their meaning. It relies on image bind and language models from Vicuna. If you don't have anything to worry about today yet, let me introduce you to PassGPT that apparently guesses 20% more unseen passwords compared to other models. This is a new password guessing model based on OpenAI GPT-2. It learns from leaked passwords like the rock you lick. And it actually intended to help users make stronger password and detect possible password based on input. It can also be used to build password to make them harder to crack. And if the security of your passwords didn't make you worry much, let me share with you the next research paper. Thought cloning, learning to think while acting by imitating human thinking. In the words of one of the creators of thought cloning, AI agents learn to think and act like humans by imitating the thoughts and actions of humans, thinking out loud while acting. In the thought cloning training framework, agents learn to produce natural language thoughts at each time step and subsequently condition their actions based on these generated thoughts. Thinking in language helps humans generalize, explore, plan, replan, and combine old knowledge in new ways. Thought cloning also contributes to AI safety. Now, a couple of exceptionally good news on the open source front. We now have two new open source LLMs called Falcon which comes in two sizes, 7 and 40 billion parameters. This is a big deal because, first of all, Falcon is now at the top of Open LLM leaderboard that summarizes different benchmarks. So it managed to beat Llama models, meaning that so far it is the fastest open model and it is also open sourced under Apache 2 license with a bit of strange story around it. What is interesting that in the press release they also mentioned the plans to announce a bigger Falcon model with 180 billion parameters soon. Whether it will be under the same license or not is still not clear. Apart from Falcon, we also have another open source model under Apache 2.0 license coming from Mosaic with 30 billion parameters and 8K context window. And taking into account that Databricks acquires Mosaic, who knows if newer models will be still open sourced. Moving to the topic of important government conversations and decisions, European Union approves world's first laws regulating AI. The new rules classify AI systems based on risk level and establish obligations for providers and users. Unacceptable risk AI systems will be banned, including those manipulating behavior, social scoring and real-time biometric identification. High-risk AI systems will be assessed before market entry. Generative AI must comply with transparency requirements. Limited risk AI systems should have minimal transparency and inform users when interacting with AI. Members of European Parliament adopted Parliament's position on the AI Act and negotiations with European Union countries will begin. The aim is to reach an agreement by the end of the year. Related to that, according to the research, 
top 10 AI models fall short of EU AI Act requirements. GPT-4 just 52% compliant and open source models face difficulties as well. At the same time, the CEO of Hagen Face testified before the US House Science Committee, emphasizing the importance of open science and open source AI for American values and interests. He mentioned that open source technologies like PyTorch, TensorFlow, uh, Keras transformers and diffusers have contributed to US leading in AI. U.S. President Biden also met with AI experts in San Francisco as U.S. government tries to figure out how best to regulate this technology. And while they're still not sure what AI is and what to do with it, the Grammy Awards already made their decisions and will not accept music made with generative AI tools, stating that only human creators can be considered for nominations. While generative AI created content is not banned from the contest, it must have significant human input. Music industry is not the only one that is concerned about the future. The CEOs of three prominent AI companies, OpenAI, DeepMind and Anthropic, as well as multiple other companies, have signed a statement from the Center of AI Safety warning about the risk of extinction posed by artificial intelligence. The statement compares AI risks to nuclear war and pandemics and emphasizes the need to prioritize mitigating these risks globally. For that or other reasons, at the start of the month, at the keynote of Apple Worldwide Developer Conference, Apple didn't mention the word AI at all. Still, they announced a number of things that rely on machine learning. They announced Apple Vision Pro, a mixed reality headset, where motion gestures, eye tracking and voice input can be used to interact with the system. They also finally improved autocorrect in iOS 17, unsurprisingly, it will be powered by a transformer language model. At the same time, Microsoft Bing Chat is testing visual search features such as image search and also they are testing a voice search. And while Zoom now allows users to quickly summarize Zoom meetings without recording, Google goes one step further and introduces visual captions for video conversations. Google also launched an AI-powered anti-money laundering tool that has been already tested. Google DeepMind introduced RoboCat, a self-improving robotic agent that can teach itself without supervision. RoboCat goes through self-improvement training cycles. It can learn from various types of training data and tasks such as videos of real or simulated arms performing different actions. It then fine-tunes itself, generating more training data by practicing the tasks thousands of times and incorporating the new data into its existing training dataset. Meta is busy with generative AI for speech. They introduced voice box that can be used for speech generation. The most interesting is editing words in an existing clip. They call it correcting, but you can also predict what other usages of that feature can be. 
But in my opinion, more fun than that is actually music gen, a model for simple and controllable music generation. There is a demo page with plenty of examples and uh, comparison to other models. With this model, you can actually create a new melody based on the classical music by adding text description to provide interpretations in any genre or style. And video has a plenty of activity this month as well. Among other things, and video broadcast announced eye contact feature to simulate eye contact with the camera for recordings. And one more notable addition is using generative AI to create intelligent, unscripted and dynamic conversations with video game characters. These characters have their own evolving personalities and realistic uh, movements. And in the world of medicine, researchers from King's College London have developed an AI model that can predict the likelihood of developing secondary breast cancer by examining changes in lymph nodes of women with triple negative breast cancer. And finally, if I were you, I would replace your password for ChatGPT because apparently tons of them recently leaked. That's it from me for this month. Let me know in the comments below if I missed some important stuff.